Hello everyone. Welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we'll discuss a type of probability distribution function that is Bernoulli distribution. So, before we move ahead, let's discuss in brief what is a probability distribution. A probability distribution is a statistical function that describes all the possible values and probabilities for a random variable within a given range. They are bounded by the minimum and maximum possible values. But where the possible values will be plotted on the probability distribution will be determined by a number of factors. The mean, standard deviation are some of the factors. So, let's discuss the agenda for today's session. We'll start by discussing what is Bernoulli distribution and the probability distribution function for the Bernoulli distribution. Then we'll see an example and some real world example where we can use the Bernoulli distribution. Finally, we'll work on an example of a Bernoulli distribution in Python. So let's begin. What is Bernoulli distribution? Bernoulli distribution is a discrete probability distribution representing the discrete probabilities of a random variable which can be taken only one of the two possible values such as 1 or 0, success or failure, yes or no, in this manner. For example, the probability of getting ahead while you flip a coin is 0 0.5 and the probability of failure is 1 minus p that is 0 0.5 as well. The probability distribution function of a Bernoulli distribution can be calculated by the following formula p to the power x 1 minus p to the power 1 minus x where x is equal to 1 is for the success and x is equal to 0 is for the failure. Suppose there are approximately 1 out of 50 births are twins and one set of new parents is chosen. What is the probability that the parents that are chosen were of a twin? So here the Bernoulli distribution will come into play. We have the probability as 1 by 50 that is 1 out of 50 will be a twins. So the probability of success that is x is equal to 1 will be 1 by 50 to the power 1 into 1 minus 50 that is the probability of failure to the power 0 which will come out to be 1 by 50. So there is a 1 by 50 chance that the parents chosen will be a parents of a twin. Let's see some more situation where we can use Bernoulli distribution. Suppose in a voting a person voted for a particular political party or abstained from voting. So the success is equal to 1 if the person has voted for the particular party. The rolling of a die that will result into a 6 or not. The success will come out as a die equal to 6. The third example we can look for is whether the outcome of an interview is a recommendation for the next round of interviews or not. If it is a success, then the result of the interview is recommendation for the next round of the interview. Now, let's move on to Python to see how you can use the Bernoulli distribution and code in Python. Let's start by importing some of the important libraries that we will require here. The first one will be matplotlib, that is the matplot library. From SciPy, we'll import the Bernoulli distribution. We'll declare an instance where probability will be equal to 0 0.0.7. The outcome of the experiment will be either is equal to 0 or 1. We'll create a bar plot with a figure of size 5 into 5 or 6 into 6, whatever you feel like.
will create the graph of the Bernoulli distribution that we have declared above with the variable x. Let's keep the color of the graph as anything green. So let's just run the code and see if it has any error or not. No, the code works perfectly fine with the 0.7 as a probability. And this is 1 minus p and that is the probability of failure that will come out to be 0.3. Let's just add the labels on the axis. So for that, we'll just mention the plot.x label. Axis will be values of random variable. And similarly, the plot.y label will be just copy this will be the probability since we have the probability on the y-axis let's keep its font size also to We'll add the font size above as well. So just copy this. Okay, so let's just run it. Yeah, we have the probability, we have the values of random variable, and we have the probability. So this is how we can use the Python to create the Bernoulli distribution and run some experiments here so with this we have come to an end to this tutorial i hope you like this video and if yes please subscribe to our channel to never miss an update until then thank you again and happy learning hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here